Hi everyone, right I've got another jar here filled with goodies and this time uh, I'm calling it the bead jar because what I've put in there are lots of uh, string beads, various ones and I've also added some trims um, on one large satin rose so these jars stand about five inches tall um, you can get quite a lot in them so everything here measures a yard um, I'm just going to show you what's in them and what you get for your money so we're just going to take the, these bits out and put them there like this I do only have six available at the moment but I can do more if needed I'm going to try and get all of these out so you can see right what we've got is the um, it's gorgeous um, and I can never say it so hey ho um, AB <laughs> I call it the AB because it's iridescent and it's absolutely beautiful so you've got that then you've got the iridescent four millimeter pearl bead you've got the two millimeter um, white pearl then you have oh sorry I try not to bang the arm on this because it's a, like I say it's a new arm then we've got the clear um, like a crystal cup bead the flat back you've also got two and it's pink and a cream one and they are the two millimeter flat back pearl we do have that in red in the shop as well for christmas if you're doing any projects and you need a small one we also have a different it's slightly different bead but it's um, a more you know creamy color instead of white and that is also the three millimeter bead um again no sorry that was a four millimeter this is also the four and that is the uh, buttercream not buttercream sorry um like um what we call a devonshire cream so that's that one this is the buttercream that one four millimeter and then we've also got that in the pink Um, I've put this braid in, it's absolutely gorgeous, it's pink and cream I have to get all this back in now, I'm going to put this one in first I think And then um, the flower, so you get, I'm not sure, let me just count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 You get 19 of those flowers that you can take off individually and use in your flower making Okay, but they're great, so you've a yard of that then we've got a yard of this trim and I absolutely love this trim and um, I use this on the spines of a book and I can add different laces and layer them either side and then put bling all the way up the middle it's absolutely gorgeous and it's um, like a braid and then this is chiffon so you've got that uh, and then I've added this one which is also gorgeous this is a chiffon uh, with iridescent in the top section here gathered lace so you've got that one and um just let me fold that back up and put it back in the jar so we're just going to pop that on there and because the lid's quite oops sorry i've done it again because because the, the lid's quite high it looks like a bottle tea doesn't it you can make that into a baby's bottle um see keep still <laughs> i'm just going to pop that in the middle and then pop the lid over that and screw that back on um, and I've got six of those available at the moment and I have lots of these jars and I will be doing lots of kits so you've got lots of things to alter and play with um, you know there's no point in having a shop like this if you can't sell it uh, and we do sell it we sell a lot <laughs> so um, you know drop by pick one up while you can um, I'm not saying I'm going to do another six today but this is what I've done so far obviously i don't want to do too many because if they don't sell i'm gonna, i'm left with them but you can guarantee they're grabbed um the kits i've just put up have already sold uh, and i've just put the embellishment kit up as well and that's already um oops keep still keep still people have read the title and come along and ask for them so let's wait and see thanks for watching take care and i'll speak to you soon bye bye for now